Today I'm going to tell you about the greenhouse effect and I will show you a very simple model so that you become familiar with this important concept in order to understand climatic changes and understand how the climatic changes uh, system behaves. So we'll talk about the uh, greenhouse effect in the Earth atmosphere. I will talk about the radiative balance and the uh, radiative uh, balance. This is a demonstration of uh, the Earth in space. Geothermal energy on Earth is negligible. You, the only source of energy on Earth comes from the Sun. On a visible wavelength, we receive visible energy from the sun. Earth also releases energy in the infrared wavelength. There, therefore, is a balance between the energy received from the sun and released by the Earth. On this slide, we see a model, a zero-dimension model, a zero-D model. We can then make an average for all of the Earth. Let us look first at the energy received from the Sun, PR2S, S being the solar constant. The energy received from the Sun on a surface perpendicular to the Sun rays. Then we have energy being reflected by the albedo, by the Earth's reflectance, PR2S alpha. Alpha is a reflectance factor called albedo, planetary albedo. Under the Earth will release energy in the infrared wavelength from all of the Earth's uh, surface, P, R, 2, sigma, T, E, 4. T, E is the emission temperature. Therefore, there is an equilibrium, a balance between the energy received and the energy emitted by the Earth. Let us take now the various uh, the, uh, conventional parameters, such as the Sun constant, assessed as 370 watts, 1,370 watts per square meter, the Earth albedo will be 30%, meaning that the emission temperature, the apparent temperature will be minus 18 degrees Celsius. With this kind of temperature, life would not be possible on Earth which means that we must introduce the uh, layer, the atmosphere layer, shown here by the top left-hand side graph. Energy will be received from the sun, A. The energy is then partially forwarded towards the uh, Earth's surface, with a tall factor, so the quantity received on Earth is B. And I said earlier that Earth also releases energy, which is then called C, and this energy is partially forwarded through the atmosphere. It escapes the atmosphere with a T factor. Energy and the atmosphere releases energy upwards and downwards. This is E. There are two very simple equations resulting from this graph. At the top of the atmosphere, A equals D plus E, and there is a balanced quantity of energy. The same can be done on the Earth surface, B equals C minus E. So again, here we have a balanced equation. It is then possible to uh, obtain the surface temperature and the atmosphere temperature. Here we talk about Ts, the surface temperature, and Ta is the atmosphere temperature. We now know that the uh, Earth ground temperature is 282 Ks. K is tens of Celsius degrees, more or less the temperature observed over the planet. 
This is due to the contribution of the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect has increased the temperature. As you just now, we have a look at this graph, which uh, traces two different temperatures. The black curve is the atmosphere temperature, whereas the red curve is the surface temperature. We see that the two curves of temperature will vary depending on the X axis, the infrared transmissivity, i.e. The atmosphere's opacity to infrared rays. Interestingly, the Z point is where the two curves cross. At this point, the greenhouse effect is zero. There is no greenhouse effect on the Z point. This is due to the fact that infrared transmissivity is exactly the same as solar transmissivity. Therefore, at this particular point, there is no greenhouse effect. Let us look now at the uh, right-hand side of the graph, right of the Z point. We can see that the air temperature is greater than the surface temperature. Therefore, right of the Z point, we have what we call the sunshade effect or the umbrella effect. The uh, sunshade effect possibly, probably played an essential role on Earth. We have reason to believe that 65 million years ago, dinosaurs disappeared from the planet Earth, probably due to a, a substantial sunshade or umbrella effect played by the atmosphere. But this is not the topic for today. Today we're going to talk about the greenhouse effect. And the greenhouse effect is everything that is left of the Z-point. Left of the Z-point, we have TS, the surface temperature, which is always greater than the uh, TE and TA temperatures. And this is due to the fact that we have the atmosphere layer causing the greenhouse effect. This is my definition of the greenhouse effect, which is slightly different from the traditional notion of greenhouse effect based on a differential notion between radiative properties, the solar rays and the, on the solar rays and the infrared rays. And this difference, the radiative property, is what causes the natural greenhouse effect in the atmosphere, which in turn leads to an increase temper in temperature on the surface, providing temperatures which are compatible with life on Earth.